hello and good morning again and now I'm sitting in the kitty park with Mr. Hustle and this came to mind yes those of you that's out there talking all this trash about VP Kamala Harris you need to cut the crap out this doesn't have anything to do with her sex life. I don't know what is wrong with people. You calling her the hawk, the hawk woman, the hawk lady, the hawk, whatever. How many people, seriously, how many people, how many women, put it like that, in high places and in lower places do what they have to do to get on top how many people I can't even count it on my fingers whether it's true or lie that's her business there's no need to be degrading this woman no need at all and whether she's Indian, Asian, Jamaican, black, whatever, I don't understand why most of the blacks are degraded, degrading this woman. You should stand up and try to fight for this woman becoming our new president. Most of you listening to all that jumbo mumbo shit, excuse me for cursing, that Donald Trump is saying and you want to vote for him that's your choice who you vote for but this man is a loony tune and all the things that he said he's gonna do believe you me he's gonna do it so no one needs to vote for this clown no one needs to vote for this idiot no one needs to vote for this man I don't even know why I say man, because he's not a man. He's a monster. It's disgusting. Y'all want something like that to stand for you and the country, the United States of America? Get the hell on out of here. I'm not into politics and stuff like that, but as soon as I heard that she was going to be running, President Biden... He stepped down for whatever reasons. That's his goddamn business. He is just being honest. You know what I'm saying? He's getting up there in age. He might be suffering with dementia or whatever it is he's suffering with. He's being fair. He's not being selfish or greedy. To hold on to something that he might not be able to fulfill so with him stepping down and letting her take control I give him big props for that seriously she's young she's very intelligent she's beautiful black Indian Asian whatever the heck she is she is you people need to stand up and get it together and go out there and vote for this woman. Vote for Kamala Harris. I'm serious. I am just so lost for words, for whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's so disgusting. No matter what a person do, especially a black person blacks always always throw them under the bus always no matter what always and that's disgusting it is we will never come together as one and help each other because we are always throwing each other under the bus no matter what 
we need to unite whether you are from another country whether you were born here in the United States whatever color you are we all need to reunite seriously this is not a black thing you know what I'm saying so I don't know why the majority of the blacks have to ridicule and put this lady down like that it's, it's, it's horrible, you know what I'm saying? A little while ago, Tyler, that young lady, the, the singer, they were putting, putting her down too, you know what I'm saying? Calling her out of, of whatever race she is, you know what I'm saying? She's biracial also. So what the heck? She's African. Why, you know, she called herself what she want to call herself. Who are you to be telling her she's not black and this and that? She shouldn't, got, she shouldn't have gotten the awards or the recognition that she's getting. Black people are something else. You know what I'm saying? I'm black too, but I'm saying black people are something else. Y'all are so hateful. Jealous. Why do y'all do that? It's disgusting. Y'all need to stop with this BS. Y'all really need to stop with it. We need to come together as one and fight for our rights and our beliefs and stop putting down the other black person that is moving up, getting a position or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You need to praise, praise and thank God Almighty for this lady getting that opportunity. This is her freaking time, whether y'all wanna believe it or not. This is her goddamn time. And she's gonna get it. I was listen, listening to a video, President Ford. This happened, this was said in 1989, as I recall, cause that's what I saw. And someone asked him if they think, if he think they ever will be a black president, a woman president. And if you looked at YouTube, you will see it. It's on there because I saw it this morning again. I don't remember exact word for word and I'm not going to try, but you need to go search on YouTube and you'll find it. Listen to what this man said. He mentioned that there was going to be a, a, a president, a vice president, African-American, and the president was going to die, and the vice president, which is a black woman, is going to be the president of the United States and men are going to have a hard way to go I am not saying word for word what he said because I don't remember exact words but that sums it up and this happened this was said in 1989 we are in 2024 and they just played that clip. They have it on YouTube. And this is exactly what is going on. President Biden didn't die yet. But as I said in a prior video, maybe he got a message that he was going to be leaving this earth soon. And look at what President Ford said in his message back in 1989. President was gonna die, and the VP, a black woman, was gonna become the president. Look at it, look at it, people. Look at it. He predicted this, he said this back in 1989. Look how many years ago that was. And we're in 2024, and look exactly what is happening. 
and she is going to be the president of the United States of America. To whoever don't like that, oh well, take a seat somewhere, okay? Because this is what's going to happen. God is in charge. And this is what is going to happen. Whether you like it or not, suck it up. Get y'all butts up come November and go out there and vote for Kamala Harris. That's right. Kamala Harris. How many of you out there have dirt in your closet? Lots of you. Lots of you. So why judge this woman? Why put her down like that? Jesus Christ, why put her down like that? Give her a freaking break. This is her time. This is her goddamn time. And no one is going to stop her. Power to the people. Power. Power. Power to Kamala Harris. Because you are going to be the president of the United States of America. Now. Take that and spread it all over this world. Because that is exactly what's going to happen. Now you all have a beautiful day. Because I am just too through with the human race. Seriously, so through. Especially our color, black. You know what I'm saying? You need to get it together. All the other races are trying and helping each other. They clean together. They sticking together. We're the only race that sways away from each other. Always trying to corrupt, kill, destroy. Whatever you can do to the average black person. The other um, black is trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? Why do you do that? Some of you in your neighborhoods, you have beautiful neighborhoods. Once you move in there, you start tearing up the place. You start doing this. You start doing that. Come on, when the, when the heck are you all going to get it together? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we are poor, but you don't have to act that way. No, you don't have to act that way. Didn't you learn anything from your mama, from your papa, from anyone? You don't have to act that way. Just because you don't have food in your house doesn't mean you have to go outside and rob and steal to get food. You know what I'm saying? There's other ways of going about it. You can ask your neighbor or something like that. There's other ways of doing things. Just because you don't have something don't mean you have to act and let everybody know you don't have it. You don't have to do that. You know how many nights some people go to bed with no food, nothing to eat. What they do, they drink water. They drink water. I remember when I was in Barbados. Yes, I'm a United States citizen now, but I was born in Barbados. And growing up, you know, sometimes we didn't have juice. We took water and we add a little sugar to it. It sweetens the water. And you drink that, you know what I'm saying? And we didn't complain. But you Americans, I don't know what to say about black Americans. Oh my God, y'all have to have every freaking thing, everything, everything. You need to go to, to go through some suffering sometimes. Because people from other countries, they've been suffering all their lives. You know what I'm saying? They don't have the abundance of things like the average American does. And y'all take advantage of things. You all take advantage of things. Seriously. You need to get it together. You need to get it together. And this is the honest truth.
And another thing, a lot of you always complaining about, oh, the immigrants, they come here and take our jobs. A lot of you don't even want to work. A lot of you don't like to work. Most of you are lazy as hell. All y'all want to do is get some money, buy the latest name brand sneakers, the latest name brand clothes, the, the latest lace front, do the latest nail nail um, style or whatever. You know, it's all about style, fashion, all this BS. And y'all don't even have the money for it. Some of you don't even take your money and spend it on your kids. They're finding a lot of kids in the homes starved. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you don't clean your houses. You keep the houses dirty. You dressing up, going outside for your friends to see you, looking like you have all this money and stuff like that. And in the meantime, go into your house, go into their house. Their house is filthy as hell. No food is in the house. Nothing. The kids, they clothes are dirty. Some of them are scrawny as hell because they haven't been eating. You know what I'm saying? Then when neighbors find out what's going on, they call AC, what is ACS. And when they come in, well, first they give ACS a hard time to come into their house because they don't want them to know what's going on. In the meantime, you're not even taking care of your goddamn kids. So when ACS find out what's going on and they come in and check your houses out and stuff like that, you know, of course they're going to remove the kids. And then a lot of you getting all angry and stuff. Oh, you can't take my kid. First of all, y'all ain't even doing what y'all supposed to do. So many of you going out there and making all these babies and stuff. You don't believe in birth control. Y'all want to do it the raw way, all this crap. Don't you know there's diseases and, and all sorts of different stuff going on out there? You want to have a baby. You want to go out. It's not that you want to have a kid. Y'all just like having sex all the time and making all these goddamn kids. And you don't even know how to provide for them or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It's disgusting that a woman going to have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids, and even more. You know what I'm saying? It's disgusting. And all these different baby daddies. And these men are not even helping you people. They're not helping y'all. All y'all caring about is, oh, he had a, he have a fly car. He has money. He's going to pay for my nails. He's going to pay for my hair. Y'all would take money and buy all these wigs, all these fake hair to put on your own hair instead of taking care of your own hair. You know what I'm saying? In the meantime, your kids is walking around looking like baby kids and y'all not even trying to do anything for them. Then you putting them down and stuff. A lot of your kids wants to go to college and, and get something good in life. But a lot of you talk down to your kids. Call them all sorts of nasty names and do all sorts of disgusting stuff to them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to get it together. Here it is. We got a black woman, Indian, Indian, American, Jamaican, whatever you want to call it. She's still freaking a woman. And she's trying to get it together so we all black, white, green, purple, whatever color you are, can live a lot better than how we are living. You know what I'm saying? And instead of y'all being grateful and trying to help this woman get that position, y'all rather take a piece of shit that fell out the sky because he looks like a damn Martian with the red hair and he's up there in age, but yet still he want to ridicule, ridicule President Biden. This is who y'all want. This is who y'all want to put back in the White House. This is who the man that 
is a criminal, a felon. And he don't just have one felony, he has plenty. This is who y'all wanna put back into the White House. Now, now for real, for real. I think a lot of you need to be freaking committed, seriously. Just like him, he needs to be committed too. Well, this is J.U. Dash Ice saying, peace out for now. I'm done with the shedding out all the dust. That's what I'm going to call it. Get up come November and go out there and vote for Kamala Harris. Vote blue. Blue. And by the way, that's my favorite color. I'm not into politics, but I just had to put this out. Have a good day. Peace.